Compared to this fucking on fire. Four. <laughs> two, Chris. Five. Yeah, watch well, when it comes time to hit something. Yes. It'll be different. <laughs> two. And. Plus this two. Dupe. Two. And. Uh. Zero. Right? Okay. Um. So. Uh. Finley. Uh. You, Nika Four is a little bit ahead of you, and you see him kind of stop and 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 listen. But the, as you guys kind of are coming up on them, um, and you will hear in the distance that hue and cry and that the the, the sounds and and mm-hmm. noise going on uh, the next block up. What do you want to do? Oh, here we go! Drop my sword, and charge forward, city guard. All right. Why don't you make a uh, uh, as you get up, um, I think probably going to have you actually make a an armed combat roll for your sort of combat perception. Okay. As you turn that corner, this will will kind of determine the, the level of details that you get there. Okay. Okay. So even up to zero, you will hit that corner, and you will see that there is a courtyard that uh, widens out, and there are people. Uh, citizens running every which way. And uh, you will see that there are two groups that seem to be uh, about to brawl. On the one side, you will see this uh, figure, great big bushy beard, Alan Moore beard down to his uh, uh, midsection, um, and a coat of many colors, this rainbow coat that he has on. That is incredibly faded and threadbare, um, and you will see in the air around him are dozens and dozens of bright uh, fluorescent butterflies, and behind him is a a group of another like a dozen people in sort of rough clothing and and little marks of of butterflies. Has that feeling of a priest and followers, and across you will see is a woman in what looks like a uh, a leather apron. Uh, uh, she has uh, a hammer. Looks like must be some sort of mason or bricklayer. Um, and you can see that she has a, a rough sort of tumble, workmanlike crowd. Um, and they have bricks. And you will see, as this goes on, you will see the guy with the butterflies gesture. And the butterflies fly and strike at the guys holding the bricks. Um, and, you know, the butterflies hit them and blood sprays out. Um, and at the, and then bricks are flying the other way. And it looks like this general melee has broken out. So you hit the corner, oh, get goodness. that sighting, see that. Um, Nikephoros, what do you want to do? Um, um. And you all see him just freeze as soon as he <laughs> rounds that corner. Yeah, I, I have to... Um... My character has to head home because, uh, sorry, I'm not feeling well. <laughs> oh, I sure. Have to, <laughs> yeah. I fair. have to go. Oh, fair enough. Absolutely. That's yeah. okay, man. Sorry. See you later. All right. All right. You Bye. take it easy. You will. Yeah. He runs around the corner. He gets hit in the head with a brick and goes down. <laughs> he catches him. He'll he'll go dropping down, and that'll be the sign to you guys who are back a little ways that, that something heavy is going down when he uh, crashes to the ground. Uh, Istvan. Okay. Um, well, this guy with this guy with the butterflies. Kind he of seems hit the like corner, he... and you'll see Alan Moore with butterflies and woman in leather apron, and the crowds behind them. Okay, I think I think the guy with the butterflies is the is the the bigger problem. I, t- I agree. Drop the butterflies and put your hands on your head. Wait, what? <laughs> I says, wait, wait, what? It's around the corner. I'm like, what? It sounded better in my head. What? <laughs> All right. Why don't you make a presence check for me, uh, Istvan? Oh, a three. Yeah. Uh, Damn. So you kind of come around the corner, shout that. You are cl- uh, pos- you move a little bit across the courtyard. You're positioned closer. You will see that there's a group of about a dozen guys that are behind the butterfly guy. And when you shout that and they hear city guard, 
about three or four of them take this kind of step back away, like, oh, we were just watching. Um, and they'll kind of, <laughs> just going to walk away. They'll, they'll, they'll peel off and kind of step back like they, they don't want to get, if the city guard are here, they don't want to get caught in the middle of that. Um, uh, so then we go to Father Duplicitous. Oh. What can we do here? I'd like to try to... You know, I can determine how those butterflies... Absolutely. Thing <laughs> Why you... Use plot, plot occult or something. Uh, okay, that's actually, gonna be a, it's actually going to be a divine roll for you. Well, you I can handle that one. Whoops. Let's try that again. There we go. Oh, nice. Um, you kind of get around the corner, and you will look, and you will uh, uh, get that sort of uh, glow. This guy is the avatar of a very little god. Um, and you you kind of think very carefully, and like, okay, what's the, oh? There's a there's a there's a, a a butterfly god named Chindaram, very small god. This guy is clearly the avatar. I mean, it's actually I mean you can he's filled with the divine power and he's clearly using that. Um, not a big god, very little god, but he's got some is, some potent power. He's he's whipping around there. Is is this bitty god a benevolent god or a malevolent? Uh, generally, it's 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 one of those nature gods that's cyclical. Um, you know, the chrysalis and cocoon and things like that. Um, yeah, they're very much sort of well, you know, it's all about the earth and so on. So neutral. Yeah. Butterflies of death. Butterflies. Well, now the butterflies, <laughs> are, butterflies. Their wings are cutting these people. Blood is everywhere. But um, this is not the rebirth phase. Right. <laughs> Uh, we're going to come to Tink. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to straw right in. I'm, are they still fighting? The, oh, yeah. There's a, there is a battle going on. The other figure, the figure with the leather apron, sh you will see, you know, she actually gestures, and you will see bricks fly past her. Clearly mm -hmm. not thrown, but magically uh, being projected. And they're going back and forth between these two groups. Uh, I, I was hoping they were standing next to each other, but they're not, are they? They're, they're too far good, away. There's about a good 20-foot gap between them right now. Okay, I'm going to walk up I'm gonna walk up to one of them, and I'm going to say, I'm going to put my hand on, I'm going to put my hand on them, and then say, please stop throwing butterflies slash bricks across the town. You're hurting people. Right. And when I put my hand on them, I'm going to paralyze them. So which one are you going to? Do you want to I think to I'm gonna... Crazy Alan Moore gonna... or Leather Apron? Oh, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Alan Moore first because okay. Alan Moore's got butterflies. All right, that seems more like my kind of thing. So you are gonna mm -hmm. have to cross a a danger zone. So I'm gonna need you to make an athletics check here. Um, Boy, I wish I had that core guy right about now. God damn it. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh shit! Ooh. I have to get a four. Fuck. Oh well, he goes nothing. Four exactly. Wow, my life sucks. Okay, let me do my roll here. So, uh, so oh. you will go running through, and you will take a stress box. Okay, you'll you have to deal with one one point worth of stress there. I'll take it. Okay, um, and so you will get caught by that as as a stray brick uh, grazes across your your head, and you're going to move up oh. to. Uh, uh, the avatar of Chindaram, the butterfly god, and you are going to attempt to uh, inflict him uh, with the uh, uh, the paralyze. Paralyze. Yeah, I'm just going to freeze his body. Okay. Because I don't, I don't know, how, I don't, I don't know what he's doing. But he's probably a spellcaster, and you know what? Best thing to do a spellcaster is make them not move. Okay. So you can touch him, freeze him, make him fall over. All right. So this is going to be a contested roll. You're going to roll your uh, magic versus his will. Okay, Doc. Let's do this. I wish I could actually cut and just roll. Oh my god, Lloyd. What is wrong with you today? You just can't roll for shit. <laughs> That's good. I, I, when I hear that, it makes me happy. Um, <sighs> so, we'll see. Um, plus two. No, no, sir. Uh, so, he will <laughs> resist that. 
but you will have a boost on your next action against him, okay? Gotcha. So you'll be able to invoke that. You will see Tink go running up through this and uh, uh, grabs onto uh, uh, the, the Butterfly God avatar and uh, uh, grabs onto him. Um, you guys are still far, far enough back uh, that you're not uh, taking any damage. Um, uh, and it actually, the butterflies and bricks are flying, so it isn't injuring the crowd around here right now. They are merely firing at each other and, and doing damage that way. Um, uh, so that was the only person who would be targeted on that. So we come back up to the, the top of the next round, Finley. Do we know who the woman in the apron is? No, she, but she looks like she's winging the same kind of crazy magic in a different different aspect at uh, the situation. All right, I am going to I'm gonna march over there where she can see me. But not in the killing zone. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna have to go into the killing zone. Yes. Okay, make your way up through there. I'm going to have you make that athletics check there. Okay. Especially because if this doesn't go the way I'm hoping it will, I will need to wait in there. Okay. Sometimes I'll we'll wait in there up front. Uh, so you are able to, to uh, uh, dodge through, and then what do you want to do? I want to uh, whip my rapier through a dazzling display, get her attention. And then order her to stand down. Ah, you want to use uh, stand down your uh, armed combat as a, a means of intimidating. I do, yes. Okay, go ahead and uh, make that roll for me there. Oh my God! Oh, no, jeez! Holy hell! Chris, okay, Chris, from now on you're doing all the rolls. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll go cold soon enough, but yeah, for now. I'll... It, he weaves wow. through this, and there is that thing where you kind of rush up, and the point of your saber goes in her face, and it is the first time that clearly she registers that there's something else going on here. Okay. The, Other than the, the, the butterfly power, man, yeah. yeah. The power of, the, of her god of brick laying, and suddenly she focuses on the sword, and she will step back, and bricks will do, 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 fall out of the, the air, and her group kind of is startled and stepping back from that. Um, the the six, she's freaked out. You brought her out of her, her trance there. Still glowing with divine power, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, disturbed. Um, I, I hope still... their group's called the Masons. I yes. Just... <laughs> uh, Istvan, you've, you've peeled off uh, some of these people off the back. Um, it looks like uh, your uh, comrade has gotten up right in the face of, of the uh, other side. What do you want to do? Um... So, th these butterflies and these bricks—they they don't look like they're be that like they're targeting people who run up to them. There's just so many in the air that you have to. Absolutely. Right. Right. So stealth is stealth. Stealth would not be useful here. So, yeah, I think I'm 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 going to run up and back back up Tink with with Alan Moore guy. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, essentially, want to try and create an aspect on the scene to to give her uh, him assistance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, basically, I need my rules. Yeah. What, what do you what 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 do you what skill do you want to use for that maneuver there? How do you want to do that? Um. That's. Uh, I guess. I... I, I guess I'm going to I'm going to draw my draw my sword look intimid look look, intimid, look intimidating so maybe a maybe a presence roll I, I don't know okay well, go ahead and make that roll and that's not much of a uh, it's okay you okay. a minus one okay uh, so uh, I will say that you've got uh, essentially a uh, show of force. Uh, right. uh, advantage that uh, uh, Tink can right. uh, invoke okay. on, on yeah. his action. Okay, so we've, we've, we've divided his attention. It makes it makes it easy. It gives, yeah. gives Tink a bit of an advantage. Okay, that's satisfactory. Uh, Father Duplicitous. So is Apron Girl actively a threat anymore, or is she kind of snapped out of it? It looks like, actually, she 
she she's got her full attention on the sword point a uh, 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 a hair's breadth away from her nose. Um, and you, but you will see that that she does have a gang of you know about twelve other people behind her who are kind of they've still got bricks in their hands and looking angry. Hmm. I, I've bought us a couple of seconds if I've done anything, I'm sure. There we go. Uh, let's see here. Can I use my blessing of ink against multiple targets? Yep. I'm gonna blind all of them. Okay. <laughs> You're just gonna gonna attempt to try to to, to put the blind just aspect on the mob. Up. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and have you make that divinity roll there. Oh yeah. There we go. Nice. So they've all kind of that that hair's breadth of of waiting. The sword pins there. That breath held, and then just a blast of ink will go across their faces. Um, and as much as anything, it's it's not just that it blinds them. It's that suddenly there's this sort of splash of cold on their faces. Then they'll kind Ugh. of uh, 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 sort of break and and stagger back away from this. Um, uh, tink. Now the sensible thing would be to paralyze this guy and take him down and be you know gentle about it and hopefully speak to him. But you know what? I just got hit by butterflies. I slam. I fucking pin him to the ground. Okay. And I scream, you're nicked, mate. Okay. I was like slamming around. That's what happened. Like, Bam, you're nicked, no mate. No more Mr. Nice Noma. Yep. No more Mr. Nice Noma. Fuck that shit. Uh, unarmed. Right. Let's do it. And you've got okay, uh, so a boost up. and a free mm -hmm. invoke. Oh, cool. Because I'm just going to... No, now I roll a six. Thanks. So <laughs> that if I use the boost, that'll be seven, eight. And if I use the free invoke, that's a nine, ten. So you you grab him and it is that that thing that the gnome lifts him up, <laughs> flips around and then there's the boom and it probably echoes. You probably hear some crunching, both from whatever stuff he had in his pockets um, and butterflies that are underneath him when he hits and maybe a rib oh, or two wow. um, when he hits and you will hear from the people behind him the, the his followers you hear a collective. <gasps> Not not because you've committed some act of heresy, but oh, they know that must have hurt. Um, <laughs> and and plus you've got uh, Istvan standing there with Blade, and they will kind of of stagger back away. And if you d don't move to stop them, they will will fade back into you know the crowd and even uh, beat feet away. Uh, I'm going I'm going to turn around, and I'm gonna after doing that move, I'm gonna turn and look everyone and be like. The next person that moves is going to get slammed. <laughs> Finley, you have your blade up in this woman's face. The crack of the of the 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 figure hitting the ground sort of reverberates, and you will see her, she will raise her hands up, and you know these guys will kind of stagger back away, trying to get the ink out of their eyes. And they go, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no need for violence. And uh, uh, essentially, the the various followers will will fade into the work work, and you've got these two uh, little god avatar guys uh, 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 at sword point and uh, uh, slam to the ground. What do you want to do? <sighs> right, some one of us is taken to the station, don't we? Probably. Okay, look, I'll take them to the station. You guys go sort out Dockram and see what he finds. He knows, okay? How's that? Or we, or we can go wake up our unconscious uh, other buddy and have him take him back. That's true. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. You do have the. Uh, um, oh, and the mooks. The slack jaws. True. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I, I look at him and I'm like, I would really like to know what just happened, but I'm on a case right now, so deal with you later. You're next. Oh, oh, you, no, you can't. You can't. The, the 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 woman will say you can't arrest us. We have a quest. You're adventurous, aren't you? Oh God, no. We're not murder hobos. No, we're we're divine, <laughs> d divinely gifted. Uh, the, our gods awoken us this morning. Uh, a great a great cosmic thing fell last night. 
uh, from from the heavens fell and dropped down into here, and uh, all all of us have been awoken, and we're we're trying to to locate it. You have to let us go. We have to seek this out. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Divine oh, warfare no. hobos. <laughs> this is even worse than murder hobos. What's well, this thing? Awesome. We, can give, we can give you five minutes. Tell us everything you know about this. And we'll just des- we'll decide whether or not that you go. Otherwise, you're just going straight to the station. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good. 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 City guards. Uh, we certainly appreciate your your benevolence and uh, not <sighs> not cutting our nose open with your your fine wicked blade. Um, uh, we don't know what it is. Uh, uh, the the gods could only. Well, how see do you know it- when you're gonna find it? When you find it? This is pause. Uh, we're hoping that we'll be given divine inspiration when we see it. I hate my job sometimes. Uh, it, 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 right. It, right. So, so, so does your divine inspiration like, really like bricks and butterflies at everybody who might get in your way? Well, no, I knew that. that laws in this city. I, I know that there, that he was also divinely commanded, and only one can hold this great power that has fallen down, this this cosmic uh, uh, strength that has has descended from the heavens, and only one can hold it. There will be others. So what, you, so what you're saying is, in order to weld the power of the world, there can be only one. Yes, yes, that has a ring to it. Yes. <sighs> this I mean, is worse than last week. Uh, you should really let us <laughs> let us go and find it because it's be- better us than say if there's a war god or something like that wandering around down here. Nico, could you please take them to the station? He'll. Grab them. He's still nursing the the, 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 the brick to the head, and his, it looks looks pretty furious. So he will will grab them up, and we'll start marching them along. And do you know what, Tank? Sometimes I hate your job too. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys will head on, then I assume. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like yeah. we're like, oh, I yeah. can't believe this is yeah. happening. And we, and, and we we tell the 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 slack jaws to to put out the word at the station that if anybody sees a god, just arrest them. Just arrest them. The arrest them. Don't even be the onside. Arrest them on suspicion of conspiring to disturb the peace. Please arrest all divine beings who were seen in the dust quarter between the hours of 6 and 7 a.m. Fair enough. <laughs> That's like a board wall. <sighs> it's a fair cop. Uh, they'll, they'll go in. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. And it probably goes out of their head by the time they go away, but uh, they will, will definitely head on. Um, you guys will, will, will move on uh, uh, down the street, making your way to the, the tavern, the local hangout. Uh, looking for Doker, I assume. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, it's again noon. By this point, high noon, the sun has come up, and uh, you will find uh, uh, the the lame pony. Um, it looks like it used to be the prancing pony, but the sign got damaged, so they changed the name. <laughs> um, and uh, you come in outside. It's just absolutely filthy and decayed and uh, terrible, and you come in, and it's incredibly immaculately kept in here. Oh, clearly, this is nice. Clearly, the tavern keeper. You know, everything's p- polished. There's, there, you know, he's sweeping. You'll see there are a few people there. They're all drags and horrible people. You know, drink, drinking their lives away. But the place is very clean. Um, well, I guess I did not expect. Hmm. And uh, the the innkeep, the tavern owner, will will look to you. Oh. Good day, sirs. How can I be of assistance to you four gentlemen? I'd like a drink, please. Oh, what can I get you? Would you like an uh, ale or a dirty water? I'll have an ale. Ah, fair enough. Thank you very much. He hey, pours it. Water? It it comes out thick. There are chunks when he pours it, you know, and then the <laughs> foam kind of comes up. It's freshly oated, sir. And he'll hand it to oh, you. Oh, joyful. I'll take it. I've never had. I've never drunk from Limpon before. Let's find out. Let's find out what the merchandise is like. <laughs> He'll look at at you and you, sirs. How can I be of assistance to you on this fine fair day? I think one of those waters. Oh yes, absolutely. It is as dirty as advertised. 
<laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to look straight at him. What's your name? My name is Burgess. I am Burgess the Innkeep. Uh, looking for a guy called Dokrum. Maybe his girlfriend Sindel? Oh, well, Dokrum's uh, in the back. Uh, uh, Lady Sindel is not here, but uh, he's back there if you want to speak with him. Yeah, that would be great. How long have you worked here? Oh, me? I've been in uh, service here six years. Have you always been this chirpy? Oh, absolutely. It pays to have a positive attitude when you're living in a hellhole like the pit. <laughs> I should try that. Well, at least the beer's good. Ah, good. That was a lie. <laughs> it is disgusting, isn't it? Oh, horrific. Yes. How did you serve people this? I don't understand. I'm going to put it back down again, sorry. Fair enough. That'll be one copper. Oh, no problem. <sighs> Tink. Uh, you will see, he points to the back. Uh, there is a fellow, seems to be drinking by himself, uh, a dirty beer. Um, looks like he's mixed dirty water in the beer to kind of water the thickness down. Um, uh -huh. uh, is a dwarf. Um, uh, looks like he's uh, older. Um, definitely has uh, a, a lame leg. Um, and he doesn't seem to be paying any attention to you guys. All right, fellas, how are we going to do this? Because if you don't take charge, I'm just going to lead and start talking. So I don't know what to do. Is just looking down at the table or looking down, so to speak? Yeah, he's kind oh. of just drinking and, and like he's just hanging out, having his alcohol. Oh. I don't know how to use remote writing here. Okay. Hmm. What would we want to say? Hi, we need to talk about the fire. Yeah, I'm sure it's be a little more subtle, but uh, yeah, I think I'd probably do it. I think, yeah, fuck, let's... There we go. Know, when, when, when you yeah. can't come up with anything, go for direct approach. <laughs> exactly. Oh, cops. Let's just do it. It's served us well in the pit so far. <laughs> As it so? Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of that direct approach. I, I, will, I will say that you'll write that. He'll kind of see that in the 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 uh, uh, appear in the water that's on his table you know mm -hmm. uh, and he'll kind of look maybe kind of narrows his eyes like he has to sound it out and then he kind of does this thing and he looks around and he sees you four standing I like this. there <laughs> and he kind of looks realizes there really isn't a back way out and he'll weakly raise his hand Hey guys, right. I think we found the guy. <laughs> Gesture use you guys over. I'll pop on in. Okay. Take a slide. Actually, no. I'm gonna grab my mug. The the half the 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 three quarters the tiny drunk mug. I'm gonna take it with me. Fuck it. Why not? <laughs> he he looks around. You know, your city guard. Uh uh, kind of tough. Cer certainly, Finley's. Got the the weapon showing, and uh, uh, um, uh, Istvan strong and stout there, and uh, uh, he kind of looks, and uh, he will say, uh, "Morning." Good morning, Dockram, I presume. Oh, that's my name. Dockram is my name. Yes, yes. Oh, Bunch up. I'll sit next to you. Oh, please, 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 please. Absolutely. Oh, thanks. As you wish. Uh, oh, bearer of strange and wondrous magics, how can I be of assistance to you? <sighs> I'll take the lead this time, guys. He looks at you guys. We want to know about the item you found in the warehouse last night. A lot of people looking for it, causing trouble. He narrows his eyes and he goes... Wait, what? Looking for it? What do you mean? Why don't you tell us where it is first, and then we can answer your questions. This is a one-way street. You don't get to ask us questions like that. Where oh, are the cards? Oh, 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 God, no. God, no, 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 no. I, no, I didn't mean to offend. It's just, it's just weird. Why would anybody be looking for an egg? An egg? An egg. Yeah. 
Well, maybe it's a magic egg. Did you think about that? Long pause. <laughs> you have to have this egg upon your person. Please tell me you have it with you right now. No. Or please tell us he doesn't. That might not be good. No, I, I, I just, I, I, sorry, no, I didn't, it didn't occur to me that it, I just thought it was an egg. So, so I gave it to... So why take it? <laughs> uh, I, I gave it to my girlfriend. Okay, can you describe this egg in a little bit more detail? Ah, oh, it was it was big. It was kind of greenish, sort of reddish on the outside. It was it was pretty. It was a big egg. Yeah, that's the egg we were looking for. Yeah. That's definitely the egg we were looking for. Oh. Uh, you picked up a big greenish egg from a possibly burning, finished burning building, and you weren't worried what it could possibly be doing there. And then gave it to his girlfriend. Yeah, then you I, gave it to your girlfriend. Yeah, I, I, it's the kind of thing she likes. She eggs. likes greenish eggs. She likes eggs. eggs. What she? What did she use eggs for? What could she Your possibly want? Pretty eggs. Oh, uh, she's a baker. Oh shit! Shit. <laughs> uh, where she work? Oh, uh, she's just, just a couple blocks away. Okay, we're going. Bye. Bye. Also, you're next. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave town. Run. Okay. Uh, you guys will will make a dash. Start booking down the street. Um, um we take him with us because we need him to tell us who the girl is his girlfriend. Okay. Grab, <laughs> drag him along. He's a little bit lame, so we may be slowing you down a tiny bit. Um, you will get. You to guys the, go ahead. I'll catch up. The 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 block. You can see he's indicated where this this shop is. You can see that there is. A kind of a bakery. Um, you can see that there's smoke coming out of the chimney of the bakery, smell of bread even wafting down here. Um, there's also the smell of maybe uh, burning flesh and uh, the pits of hell. Um, and that's coming <laughs> from, you will see down about equidistant a ways down the block, you will see this reddish figure, maybe about eight feet tall. Um, see, he's got oh, a, a, a burning whip, be... a sword. You see, he's got some big figures behind him, uh, and so you'll see this war god avatar coming down the oh, street. We uh, were talking about you earlier. I'm, I'm glad you. I'm, well, there's the war god avatar, guys. She didn't mention it. Uh, I guess she didn't want to be a muffin. <laughs> so let's start with uh, uh, you, Finley. Um, Imagine that right now the the block is. Let me see if I can kind of do a quick freehand draw here. We kind of block is like this. Bakery is like that. Um, and then we'll just sort of for a, a token. I'll put a. Here's where you guys are at. And let me quickly go and grab something. And let's see here. Copy. And come back to that page, and we'll put this little oh, war god. Yeah. It's a little bit lo longer distances. It's, it's a relative scale, but yeah. uh, uh, so Finley, what do you want to do? I'll turn to the others and say, "You guys go in the bakery and let me take care of him." You sure, you're not gonna need a hand. You'll hear me screaming if I'm wrong. <laughs> okay. That so, works for me. And I'll start playing that be way. Fine. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, he's okay. Walking, running. What do you want to do? Uh, let let's bolt. Well, yeah. this, this is Finley. So Finley, what do you want to do? I'm gonna get as close as I can. Okay. I'm mostly, I, I'm assuming that he is looking for the egg too, so I want to get between him and the bakery. Okay. Why don't you make a simple athletics roll for me here? I can type ever. Ooh, okay. Okay. So I'm gonna. You'll get uh, past the bakery, gone up to there. I'll do another little figure to represent the rest of the group there. This is all relative. 
no zones mm -hmm. or anything like that. Um, uh, edge, the, ed, ed, the top of the edge, World 20 graphics. I'm feeling yeah, it. Exactly. Uh, Istvan, what do you want to do? Um, I'm going I'm to cover the, ba the back of the shop, just... Go, go go around the back while the others go in go in the front just to make sure that nobody 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 runs out the back we've got the whole whole building covered all right and um, to do is I want to do a do a stealth roll okay see if I can get back there without anybody noticing absolutely make that roll there we go. oh that's pretty good pretty sweet. so we will grab another uh, token here so We'll move you back to the back of the building. Essentially, uh, kind of uh, make your way along the, the fences and things like that. Uh, get right. back to the back. There is, you know, essentially uh, the, the washout that's here from the, the, the back of the, 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 the bakery. Um, it doesn't look like there's anybody coming this way. But in the, in the distance, like several blocks over, you will hear what sounds like like a band of bards like divine angelic singing like there's clearly another avatar coming but they're a ways away in that direction um all right uh, uh father duplicitous we go running into the bakery shouting sindel sindel do not use that egg <laughs> sindel don't break that do egg not, do not break that egg do not break folder with that egg <laughs> <laughs> Uh, run in. Um, uh, you'll come in through that door. Interior, interior bakery. You'll see there's a, uh, a, a, a dwarven woman behind the, the the counter. Kind of run in, and uh, she's shocked as you you burst in through there. And what are your exact words? Uh, do not do use that word. Um. <laughs> uh, uh, um, she kind of looks startled and un uncertain about what's going on there um, and she'll go well, well is this a robbery well not yet <laughs> not yet, yet. yet. <laughs> uh, Tink I'm gonna drag um, Dockram in into the bakery okay I'm gonna have you make an athletics check because you've got to kind of get up there uh, with this uh, somewhat lame dwarf Oh, Three. Yeah. Yes, I wrote Three. high. Oh my okay. God! Uh, so you will also come uh, bur bursting in. Um, drop Dokram, and Dokram will look, and uh, uh, he will say, and sh this woman behind the counter will look at him and like that, and uh, he'll go, uh, uh, "Crystal, uh, where's Sindel?" And she'll go, oh, "She's in the back baking." And we're at the top of the round. Finley, uh, you will see uh, this guy. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Come on. Oh, what a terrible moment for this to go out. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. Ah. Oh. It was. I oh, yeah, hated my internet. <laughs> Sorry. Luckily, I remembered that from yesterday. So. Yep. I apologize. I don't think it was. 
I don't think it was quite as dramatic as your uh, your exit yesterday wasn't as dramatic as this one was though. Yeah. We were just about to hit, get to something. Okay. Just so you know, you ended it when you said we got into the room, we dropped Doc on the floor, and oh god, and then he had this look, and you were like, <laughs> and we're like, oh, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> Okay, let me pull the, the, the roll 20 has to reload here for me. Uh, so, he will say, Crystal, uh, uh, where's Sindel? And Crystal, the woman behind the counter, will say, she's in the back baking. Oh, oh God. Oops, wrong gal. Uh, and oh God, in we're going to cut to Finley at that point. Uh, uh, I'm starting to think maybe breaking the headache is the right thing to do. Finley, you will see this figure great eight feet tall you know burning whip and sword and he sees you and he will kind of they've been marching and he'll kind of mosey up close to where you're at and he'll say morning morning city guard i'm afraid i'm gonna ask ask you to stand down Yeah, there, there's there's one of you. One god, one city guard. He looks at the, the, the group behind him, and he'll say, Fair enough. And he will step up and puff his chest out, as if to say, bring it. Your action. Punch him in the I'm face. Gonna... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kick him in his godnards. No, uh, I'm going to skip the dis display of strength this time and just attack. Okay. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Technically, he hasn't actually broken any laws yet. <laughs> that is also a good point. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, Preemptive law breaking. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, no, he has broken the law. He stepped up to a city guard and told him to bring it. He's just following orders. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Ruining, ruining city streets by catching things on fire. <laughs> and now I am going to go ahead. Loitering, and, um, jaywalking. <laughs> Let's go uh, a few more. Invoke uh, Precision Duelist uh, to make that a plus six. Okay. So. A good thing, will... too. Uh, uh, to bring that around, and you are lightning fast. And where are you stabbing him? Uh, probably kind of in the mid section because it's hard for me to reach anything higher than that. Right. Um, <laughs> without a ladder. He he goes to to bring up this uh, sword to kind of block it, and you'll put it right in his stomach, and he'll go oof. <laughs> Wait, did you go oof? Oof. Oh, oof. that was a that was a good shot, man. My turn now. Oh, Welcome right. back to you. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, Istvan. Okay. Maintaining your position. What are you doing? Okay. Are there? Is there a way into into the building from, from here? Yeah, it does the look back. like there is uh, a uh, a back door here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm going to enter through the back. Okay. A uh, simple. Do you have a, a thief? Yeah, I've got thief. You can use thief, yeah, or you can use physique to kick it in. No, I'm definitely using thief. That's okay. the best skill. Make that roll. And it's a terrible roll, but great skill. So I've got okay. a three. Pop open the simple lock. Wander in. Uh, kind of come in. The heat will kind of hit you from the kitchen here. You'll see sacks of flour. Um, and you will will make your way in, and you will see this large baking kitchen, ovens, pots boiling, uh, uh, flour being kneaded, uh, all that kind of thing. And you'll see this dwarven woman who, when she sees you come in, will scream uh, because essentially this thief has just come in her her back door there. Um, uh, you don't City see. Guard. Pardon. City guard, ma'am. We're investigating a report of a stolen egg. Uh, uh, uh. Take quick. She's under attack. <laughs> uh, Father Duplicitous, you'll hear a scream from the kitchen. 
clearly back behind the the counter there. Well, we'll try to clear the counter, get uh, kick down the door, get into the kitchen. This is an she, athletics this check for you. This poor woman is clearly under attack. <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna, oops, we're gonna see how well. how my athletics was. Uh, it was only plus one, that's what I thought. Clearly, <laughs> we'll this poor woman is under attack by the egg. Oh my oh, god! Oh, yeah. You are so good! <laughs> <laughs> You're like, this, this woman oh. goes into <laughs> slow motion, you know, vaults the counter, hits the door, <laughs> rolls, comes up, and you'll see this dwarven woman who now is startled by John Woo. You know, styled a doves will fly out uh, as you roll in there, and uh, you will see Istvan's got the back door secured, and uh, she's like, "What's going on?" City guard, where's the egg, ma'am? She goes, "What egg? Which what what?" On your boyfriend, baby. Egg. Oh, <laughs> she points to the stove. Oh God. Uh, oh, what God. did you make out of that? Pardon? What did you make out of that? It, it's I, it's it, egg salad for later. We we are going to have we are going to have to confiscate the egg salad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tink, Tink, what are you doing? We have reason to believe that it constitutes a public health risk. <laughs> I'm I'm going to go inside inside the bakery. I so have mentioned this. Probably internet's trying to freak out. Okay. <laughs> Hate it. Um, have they? Have they, are they, um, uh, is the egg, is, is, do I hear everything? So we'll assume you hear everything. You get in, you'll see the father is going to provide a little bit of reassurance there. She's still startled by, you know, his athletic display. Um, uh, Istvan's the got the back door secured, and she points the thing. You'll look over, and you'll see this big pot of boiling water, and there's this enormous egg bouncing around in the, the pot of boiling water. Uh, um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and take it out. Fuck! I've got iron hands. Yeah, I'm gonna take it out. Okay, that is gonna be a physique roll, sir. Our boiled evil egg. I have iron hands. I can block strikes of swords with that. Does that help? I'll give you a plus two on this roll. Okay, I'm gonna need okay. it because I was with a three, so, so five. You will see Tink reach in to this pot of boiling water and just. Ch- grab and pull out no. this divine cosmic egg that is partially hard-boiled. <laughs> oh, it's only partially hard, so it's soft-boiled, so it's still edible. Yes. Yes. So, if I cracked it open, I could probably eat it now. You need a little salt and pepper. Yeah, true, you're right. We'll come to that in a second? <laughs> All right. Meanwhile... It's the, it's the only way to stop this madness, is just eat the egg or be done. Uh... This you, War God, you stabbed him in the gut, Finley. Uh, he's kind of holding on to it, and you'll see him clock back with his blade and go to swing at you. Hell's bells. Take like a man. Uh, that's not a very good roll. You can he make uh, athletics or your armed combat. Armed um, combat, um, yes. Please that. <clears throat> Oops. <laughs> Ah. So he just he just catches you a little. You'll kind of pull the sword out and bring it up to parry, but the force of it will probably smack the blade into you and hit, and uh, blood will kind of uh, come out of your forehead from that hit, and you'll stagger back a moment. And he will say, "You need to stand down, guard boy." Your wow. action. Don't take a shit from me. <laughs> Don't take a shit. Matt should have attacked an officer? I don't think so. Okay. I'm going to try to feint around to the other side here. Okay. Ooh, that's probably not going to work. <laughs> Depends on why he rolls. Are you, are you trying this for a, a feint to set up a maneuver or a strike? Actually, yeah, let, let me try to uh, create an advantage here. Okay. All right. Uh, in that case, we do that versus his notice score there. Um, uh, so, uh, do you, do you have a fate point to spend? Do you want to do that, or do you want to just let I, that be? I, oh, there it is. Yeah, I do actually. Yeah, and I'll invoke uh, spotting weaknesses. 
Okay, so you will tag him with a spot of weakness. You can see that he is a, a, a war god avatar guy, um, still human, and when he got bigger, a lot of the armor stretched, so there's a lot of gaps in it right now. Okay. Um, and you'll get a free invoke on that. Okay. Um, and we'll go to uh, Istvan. Okay. Um, There's a perfectly I, soft boiled egg here. You know yeah. what you must do, Istvan. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think we need to. We we need we need to get we need to figure out what to do with this stupid egg. <laughs> We lock it up until someone right. with more magic right. take, it. Take, take it to the guardhouse? Yeah. Okay. So. And then we have eggshell sandwiches. <laughs> right. To right. buy right. eggshell sandwiches. Or we just eat. Yeah, or we just eat it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, yeah I'm, not, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure I want to eat this thing. <laughs> this is. This seems like a like a risky move. <laughs> it's the only way to stop everything from happening. But it's already eaten. They can't stop us. Yeah, but I'm. I, I, I am. I am. I am kind of just just a little bit apprehensive about eating mysterious soft boiled divine cosmic eggs. Okay. Uh, so what are you doing, Istvan? So okay. Think. I guess. I, I guess I'm going to try to try to take the take the egg back to the back to the guardhouse, sneak it sneak it out the back so this war god doesn't see us, and just and just head back for the station where we've got reinforcements. Okay. And figure out what to do there. So Tink he reaches hands, puts his hands out for the egg that you have in your hands. Fine, be boring. Says I. Oh, that'd be really good in a salad. I pass it over to him. He's not very culinarily adventurous, is he? I know. He's missing out. People. How often does he eat a divine uh, egg? And I don't see too many divine chickens. Yep. <laughs> uh, Istvan, uh, how, what's your athletics for speed or stealth for slow but, but hidden? Um... I think I'm go I think I'm going to go with that with it with athletic since I'm okay. going since I'm going at the back and nobody's got me inside I'm going to try to get to the station as possible. Let's yeah. have you make that roll as you try to escape the location. Um and I believe that you have a stunt for for escaping, right? Oh yeah, pl well plus two on thief checks made to escape location. Oh, I'll not... give you a plus two on this. This seems, okay. seems reasonable. Okay. So a five. Okay. Okay. So Tink, you've handed this off. What are you and, and the father doing then? I guess go out and back up our homie. Okay, which back homie? Fin Finley. Okay. Uh, so oh, wait, we... hold on, no, because I've, I've got a little bit of stealth. I suppose I could go with him. But it's not much. I might just slow him down. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, at the moment, at the moment, I'm not being st stealthy. I, I do have a stunt that, if I'm surprised, I can make a stealth check without penalty to hide. So if I do come into a site with one of these avatars, I, I can I can I have a chance of them not noticing me. Yeah. Or is it that? Or I just run up and start punching the crap out of a war god? I'm not yeah. quite sure which one. What are you doing, Tink? I'm here. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't think... see how you. I don't see how you can resist the the temptation to body slam a god. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna go out and punch the god in the face. Okay. Uh, and what about you, father? Hmm. Let's see. Your father isn't exactly a stealthy one, so he's gonna have to. So we'll trust the get it done. So I will follow Tink to take right. on a war god. Right. On the other hand, you're the only one who has any sort of any idea at all about what this divine egg is. Yeah, you probably should go with the egg. <laughs> May I go with the egg? Yeah. All right, I'll go with the egg. Okay. I need you to make an athletics check then. All right. So right now you've got a five. And duplicitous is a two. Mm -hmm. uh, are you invoking anything on that, or should I know about it? Well, let's see here. <laughs> 
Actually, you know what? I will use, see if I can make a pause. I will tap Adventurer Accountant to pick up patterns, their search patterns. And, uh... Oh, I like that one. So that will give you guys a total of nine, so you get a, a four edge on that. Um, let me roll for so that. We'll get you that. And then the pursuit. Look at all those fluffers. That. Okay, uh, so you guys are in uh, a good part of town to do this. It is kind of dense. Um, uh, uh, it's a, a, a great location, and but you, and you'll be kind of bouncing around, uh, catching through here, uh, trying to recall, you know, what the layout is, making your way back. Uh, you, you do have the confusion, actually, of the uh, Swan Damsel Festival. You're able to kind of hit that crowd and lose yourself in that, and you will see as you guys are running along various glowing figures or divine things. You'll see a circle of rats dancing in hands. You'll see plants moving and singing with one another. You know, little cherubim babies flying about. All of that kind of thing. It, it Everything seems to be here in sort of a divine swirl around. Meanwhile, back at the War God, uh, Tink, you move out. Uh -huh. Okay. You will see that right now uh, Finley is engaged. The War God is up there uh, the, the, the avatar of the war god. Let me be correct about that. Um, and there are uh, some people with him that are kind of standing back. Let me put them on the map. They're the ones that he gestured to stay back while he d went mano a mano with uh, Finley. Uh, so we'll put this back here. And we'll drop these guys quickly on the table. Oh, there's three of them, but okay. Finney's having a one-on-one -on -one match. I don't want to interrupt him. At what the same you? time, <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, it's a wall guard. I can't punch him. Not punch him in the face. <laughs> I'm gonna run towards Finney. I'm gonna say, Finney, give me your legs up, and I'm gonna vault off Finney, jump in the air, and just punch the wall guard in the face from that jump. Fair enough. Uh, go ahead and make that uh, unarmed attack. Five. So you kind of uh, have fainted to the side, Finley, mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. kind of are, are got the spot on the thing, and you'll hear that call from behind you from Tink, and probably even before you have a chance to kind of brace for it, Tink will run up and launch off of you and you'll see him flip up, and his boot goes right in this war god's face. Tiny little gnome foot, oh. <laughs> but boom, right in there. Um, and the the war god will kind of stagger back from that as he takes another uh, set of wounds. So that'll have to, he'll have to take that and that. Um, and, and when I land, I'm gonna go pick on someone your own size, you big oaf. Um. <laughs> so War God is going to swing oh jeez he's so tempting um, he is still going to focus and take one shot on Finley I'm going to say that one of the guys who are back it will probably move up and take a swing at you uh, Tink so no Finley striking at you ooh look at that that's a good roll nice roll oh, must So, one one point there, sir. Okay, I'm going to have to put that in my tube box then, okay. I guess. All right. And on you, Tink, one of these uh, backup guys will, will, will swing with essentially a spiked club at you. Mm -hmm. And I will get him in the face with a... Wow, that was a terrible roll. Wow. That was a terrible roll. <laughs> Um, My second stress box got hit. And we'll, we'll hit you with that, that second stress box. You guys are moving through the crowds, uh, dashing along, uh, sort of pell-mell, making your way back to the, uh, the house. Let me have one more athletics roll from Istvan and uh, uh, the father. Ooh, nice. Oops. 
Oh, so you saw seven, so that's three. There are the, a few moments there uh, where they are kind of hot on your tail. It clears so people catch the whiff of the, the cosmic egg that you're carrying, um, but you are, are uh, ahead of them, and they they still don't have any kind of informational magic, so all they know is that something has gone past. They have that sense of hot and cold, um, so no one actually kind of spots you guys as you are almost back to uh, uh, the essentially the bunkhouse. Um, is there any like big flat areas nearby where people could see? Uh, uh, you probably could get up on on one if you wanted to. Well, I was thinking about using a remote riding and say, you know, they went that way and went in the other direction. Sure, uh, you could. I, I would let you do that with your divinity to. Uh, create an advantage. Go ahead and make Sorry, that roll. I pulled, my, I pulled my earplug out. What do I need to roll? Uh, uh, let's do that with divinity, since it's your okay. uh, divine, divine skills. Create an advantage. This is not the geek roll. Let me try that again. Yeah. <laughs> Different syntax. There we go. Oh, awesome. So there we go. Do it in a flourish way that makes it look like a message has been received from on high to them to, to, to indicate this this great thing, this billboard of, you know, divine egg here and an arrow. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Finley, uh, uh, th this war god guy kind of shakes his head from the, the, the boot, you know, gave you that smack with the sword. It's your turn. Now I'm going to invoke the gaps in his armor and hope to make the most of that. Okay. Ooh. Eight! Yes. Ooh! Damn! That's in, clean, that's in clean the invoke, yeah. He took that, he took that. Um... Uh, he will take a uh, uh, essentially a gushing arm wound consequence, and you'll see him kind of start whoa, 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 as you see this guy who is pretty much just propped up by the the avatar of the war god spirit him go whoa, 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 guardman, kind of trying to hold his his arm together there. Uh huh. We can we can we can talk we can talk about this. Tink, what do you want to do? I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at him like drop your weapons and put drop your weapons, get on your knees and put your hands in the air. You're nicked. All right. We're nicking all the gods, no exceptions. That's right. God <laughs> squad in color. Uh, I I that's a great line. Uh, he's bleeding, gushing out here from this. You know, this morning this guy was just a a guy who you know had a collection of little paraphernalia for the war god, and you'll see him start to shrink back to his normal four-foot-three state um, with the, the, the wounds <laughs> on him uh, and his, uh, 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 as a, the, the, the touch leaves. Um, you guys will get back to Istvan, uh, uh Father. You guys will get back to uh, the, uh, uh, the bunkhouse. You'll see your sergeants there. She looks up. She's reading, a, you know, some sort of scrap sheet of uh, uh, notes, maybe doing some kind of uh, uh, Elven Sudoku. Um, and uh, <laughs> it's all in glyphs. Um, she... It's the worst kind of Sudoku ever. <laughs> never saw these things. She goes, uh, what, what's up with you guys? Are we, are we there? I, I'm going to assume it's just the, the father and Istvan there right this second. Gotcha. Uh, we got lunch and got to lock this thing up. Yeah, Sergeant, we got, a, we got a divine egg, all kinds of gods all over the city popping up looking for this thing. We got to figure out what to do with it. Uh, I hate gods. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got an artifact safe. We'll throw it in there. That should uh, mask the smell of this thing. And uh, we'll get uh, a city priest down here from the up top later to, to deal with it. Uh, 
You guys carry it. I don't want to touch that thing. I don't know where it's been. And uh, she will it's go over. Where they are are. Are. Can, you, can you tell? And and she will open up this Rube Goldbergian, you know, multi-dial magic item thing that's on the floor, and she'll open it up, and you can see it looks like there's this lich hand in there, you know, and other various artifacts, and she instructs you to just drop it in there. Okay, okay, I, I, I drop it in there. I, I mean, I, I'm also scoping out the artifact. This is the first time I've seen this safe, so. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna see if there's I'm gonna see if there's anything in there I might want to nick at some later date. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't I don't know how long I don't know how long this job is gonna last. Right. But I'm, I'm not gonna grab anything right away. I'm, She'll I'm shut that. Um, your partners, if I may, move to kind of a, a, a summary here. Tink, Finley, mm -hmm. you will march these war god wannabes back to the bunk. I assume. Yep. Um, and probably by by early afternoon, all of your cells are filled up with various uh, depleted <laughs> avatars. Um, it's it's a weird day down here in the pit. <laughs> all kinds of strange omens and sigils that make no sense go off for the next 24 hours. Um, and uh, eventually, uh, the sergeant has you let most of the avatars, except for the war god, uh, let them go just to clear them out of the cells. Um, and uh, she, you, you probably spend the next two or three days cleaning up the, the fallout from all of this. Um, well, so we still got time to... to mess, if it's early afternoon when we're done, we still have time for that, that noble case, guys. But I'm bummed. <laughs> 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 still got time. And, Credits freeze frame. Yes. You do the the police squad look there. Uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and that's where we'll, we'll that's where we'll stop, guys. Uh, with with about fifteen minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Save the pit. We save the pit from the eminent wall god and god divine egg. Why didn't you let me eat the egg? I was like so close. <laughs> let me eat the egg. <laughs> The quickest way to get rid of all these problems, I want to arrest anyone. Everyone will just go away. We didn't I, have any celery seed, and you know we're missing people. <laughs> I, I, have, just... I have seen one one group uh, did 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 break the break the egg by accident in the process, and it ended up uh, causing a lot of problems. So, uh, <laughs> so it'll be a little more than gastrointestinal pain. Though, yes. So. <laughs> uh, awesome. Thank you guys so much. Uh, for for playing along, I'm sorry that we lost uh, uh, that player, but 